there, go. Guys, come over and hold him down. Darren! Did you really think you could get away from me that easy? Look, listen, it was a mistake. I'm sorry, I didn't... Shut up. Nobody makes a fool out of me and gets away with it. No. <coughs> All I want to hear is you begging for me to stop. Luke, listen to him. Stay out of this. Yes, but if you would only listen to him. Shut up! up. Stephanie, what did you think about Chelsea's party last weekend? I had a good time, at least from what I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I had so much to drink at that party, I don't even remember who I was making out with by the end of the night. So it was a regular weekend for you then? What? Nothing! <laughs> Did you hear about Mindy and Ted? No. Hear what? Apparently, Mindy found Ted making out with another girl last weekend. No. Yes. <laughs> and she only told me so. If anyone asks, uh -huh. you didn't hear. All right, class, settle down. Take your seats. Now today, we're going to be starting a new chapter. All right, knock it off. Now turn your textbooks to page 52. Excuse me, is this literary history? Yes, it is. And you are? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Darren Copper. Copper? Ah, yes. They said you'd be starting today. Well, you're free to sit anywhere you'd like. We're about to start the lecture. Sounds good. Hi. Good morning. I'm Darren. Now, I'm not sure where your instructor was at at your old school, Darren, but we were about to discuss the history of literature in the 1930s. Oh, you mean we'll be discussing how the literary work of the 1930s focused on the rejection of a notion of progress and more of a desire to return to an early age of purity and simplicity? Yes, that's exactly right. I see your old school was a little bit ahead of ours. No. Anyway, as I was saying, the history of literature in the 1930s was heavily influenced by the Great Depression of the 1920s. Looks now, like you, we've got another weird. Yeah, looks like it. Very influential at this time, such as Steinbeck, Wilder, Tolkien, so if you are very familiar with some of these books, as they've been made into different movies, uh, very uh, popular these days, some have been made and remade. Now we'll be teaming up into partners for this project, so I will give you a few moments to go ahead and pick your partners. Hey, you want to be partners? I'm sorry, I got caught up with- Stephanie, this is the third time in the past two weeks you've been late for my class. I know, I'm sorry. Your I... excuses are beginning to annoy me. We are in the middle of choosing partners for Newton's first law experiment, and you being late again, I think you're just gonna have to partner with whoever's left. Okay, who's left then? Hey, I'm just looking for a partner. I think that answers your question. The new kid? <laughs> God, do you know what this will do to my image? <laughs> I don't care. Darren Copper? Yes? Meet your new science partner. Hi, I'm Darren. Stephanie. Nice to meet you. You're in my literary class, aren't you? Yeah. Great. Looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other then, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Well, shall we? You're kind of weird, aren't you? Only when I can afford to be. All right, does everyone have a partner? Good. 
You and your partner are assigned to create a project that explains how an object that is at rest will remain at rest unless an unbalanced force acts upon it, and how an object that is in motion will maintain its velocity unless an unbalanced force acts upon it, using Newton's first law as its primary focus. Do you have any questions? Good. You have until the end of the term to complete the project. Good luck. She thinks she looks good. So anyways, I heard you got that new guy for your science partner. How did you know? Steph, it's me. I know all of the gossip. Like for instance, did you know that Amy has been cheating on Tim? Which Amy? The Amy with the curly hair who always wears the pink bow? Or the Amy that wore that really cute shirt during Spirit Week? No, I'm talking about the Amy with the really bad split ends and the bad taste of fashion. <laughs> oh, that Amy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so tell me about him. What is he like? He's kind of weird. Well, yeah. Did you see what he was wearing? Purple and blue stripes. That was so last winter. I mean, I haven't been shopping since Saturday, but I can tell you that none of that is at the Dillard storefront. Mm -mm, no. What I saw was a lot of double-breasted pockets, which he's not wearing. Are you even listening to me? Oh, speaking of fashion disaster, look who it is. Oh, wait, do you think he realizes he's standing in Luke's hangout spot? Oh, no. Hey, new kid. What do you think you're doing? Oh, just admiring the beautiful flowers you guys got here. Oh, I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Darren Copper, and you are? The name's Luke, this here's Bruce. Pleasure to meet you, Bruce. Okay, and you are? That's Craig. Pleasure to meet you, Craig. Really? Sorry. Anyway, what do you think you're doing here? Well, I just moved here from Michigan, and this seemed to be the closest school no. where I was. What do you think you're doing here? This is my spot. How cold does it get in the state during the winter? What? Well, I was just wondering on my way here how cold it gets during the winter. Should I wear a light jacket or a heavier one? Or... You just don't get it, do you? A heavier one. This is my spot. Nobody steps foot here except for us. Really? How's that possible? Oh, did the school auction the spot off in a school raffle or something? That's cool. Hey, do you think they'll do another one for free parking? Now look here, you son of a- Darren Copper, can I see you in my office for a moment, please? Well, duty calls, guys, but I'll see you later, okay? What just happened? Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, well, Darren Copper, allow me to be the first to officially welcome you to the high school. It's not every day our little school gets an out-of-state transfer. So how have things been going for you so far? Pretty good. Well, that's I, great to hear, you know? We might not be the biggest school, but there's one thing we have none of the others can touch. Making sure our students are in a safe, secure learning environment and ensuring equal opportunities for everybody. So tell me, Darren, are you a religious man? That's an odd well, that's question. Great. I think there are far too many young people these days who uh, don't know what path to follow. As far as I'm concerned, nothing better than a good religion. That's why I'm a high school principal now. I enjoy helping the new students when they come in, helping to get them pointed in the right direction. And the right direction is usually a good religion. See, being a principal wasn't my first calling. Not that long ago, I was a youth pastor at a Christian church in the town where I lived. Sadly, that didn't last for very long, though. It seems the town found my teaching of the ways of the Lord to be questionable. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> You see, that's why I brought you in here today. 
Hopefully I can point you in the right direction. See, I've been looking at your file from your old school, your records. Quite a bit in here. Seems you have a rather dark past. <clears throat> yes, it's true. I've had an, an unfortunate past, but I just want you to know that was the old me. I've completely changed from what I used to be, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Good, I'm glad. That's just what I wanted to hear. Well then, I think we're done for the day. Why don't you head on off to class now? It was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure meeting you too, my son. Oh, and Darren? Yes? God be with you. So what'd you get in Miller's class today? I can at least say I didn't fail. Well, you got me beat. I just don't understand the point of essays. Why should we have to write papers about a bunch of dead guys? I mean, if they were really important, people would have heard about them already. Gandhi. Like, anyone's ever heard of him? It's like I've always told you, people care more about image than anything. You're right, Mandy. I've always felt the same way. And another thing? Speaking of fashion disasters, look who it is. Great. Come on, let's go before he sees us. Stephanie. Too late. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Darren. Um, uh, this is my friend Mandy. Pleasure to meet you, Mandy. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> She's a giddy one, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, what did you want? Well, I was hoping, if you weren't busy after school, well, we could maybe meet up to figure out what we want to do for our science project. You want to start today? Yeah. Why not? That is, unless you already have plans. Not really. Hmm. Well, great. So, we can meet up then? Um... Sure, why not? Great. Oh, but it'll have to be at your place. Mine's being... fumigated. Oh, okay. Let me just give you my address. Oh, uh, you, you could text to me later. I'll give you my cell. Oh, I don't have a cell phone. Why don't you have a cell? Um, because I don't like having heavy pockets. I'll see you later tonight. You can do this. <laughs> Nobody knows that you're here. <laughs> Just go in, figure out what the project is, and then leave. Don't think anything about his weird house, or his weird parents, or his weird room. I... And whatever you do, don't eat the brownie.
<laughs> what was that for? Uh, I just thought we'd have a little fun before we start our project. That wasn't funny. Maybe not right now, but someday it will be. What are you doing anyways? I was meditating. You meditate? Yep. Why were you doing it on a board? Because it helps keep my mind focused on one task to prevent my mind from wandering. Well, you're good at it. Thank you. The meditation has certainly helped me change over the past year. What do you mean change? Do you like lemonade? Sure. I'll go fetch you some then. Shall we? Well, here we are. Please make yourself at home while I find the assignment. Wrong. Are you putting on an act or something? What do you mean? You don't have a cell phone. You meditate and you look like you came straight from Woodstock. And yet you have a normal house in a normal room that looks just like my brother's. What's your deal? What? Were you expecting a bunch of peace signs everywhere and the air to have an herbal hint to it? Kinda. Just because I dress a certain way doesn't mean I am a certain way. But then why do you dress that way? I like loose-fitting clothes. Aren't you worried about what other people will think of you? If I worried about what people thought of me, I'd never get anything done during the day. Okay, come on. Let's figure out what we want to do for this project. Okay, so it says here we have to create a... You really don't care what people think of you. Mm, no, not really. <laughs> but how is that possible? It doesn't concern me. But aren't you worried about your image? I don't have an image. But... Stephanie, having an image means nothing to me. Being caught up in the latest fashion trends is its just too stressful. I prefer people to accept me for who I am, and if they don't, well, then at least I still have my dignity. So then this is the real you? Mm, yeah. I figure, why should I try and hide who I am these days? If I start lying to people, then all I'm doing is throwing them for a loop. Throne. What about a catapult? What? A catapult for our project. We can demonstrate Newton's first law by showing how a catapult works. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we can build it out of wood. Wood, glue, maybe some thumbtacks or something. Are you okay? What? Oh, um, just, uh, Briar's block. Gotta go sharpen my pencil.
Stephanie? Shh. What are you doing? Shy, I have to make this quick. Okay. I, uh, I'm... I was wondering if you wanted to hang out sometime? Sure, I'd love to. <gasps> Great. Um, will the plant be joining us? Oh, funny. <laughs> uh, here's my address. Pick me up at six. Okay. Oh, does Friday work for you? Sure. Oh, I, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you Friday night then. Bye. <laughs> Get in there, were you? Of course not. We're just making sure everybody in the school stays hydrated. How about you? Feeling thirsty? Mm, no, not really. As a matter of fact, I was about to go. Well, I think you are. Oh, Craig! <laughs> Well, actually, I was about to go. No, home. no, you're not going anywhere. See, last time we talked, I don't think you got it. For the past five years, this school has belonged to me, and nobody is safe in my school. Isn't that right, Craig? Yeah. So here's what's gonna happen. Do you like urine? What? Do you like urine? No, why? Well, I just thought I should ask, because if you did, it wouldn't be any big deal, but Seeing as how you don't, I should warn you that if I don't get to a stall in the next few moments, we're all going to be covered in it. Did you just threaten me with pee? It's more of a premonition, really. Forget this. Kick his ass, Luke. I would advise against that. I'm sorry. So, Darren, how's your first week at school been going? Fine. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I just want to be sure you know that as your principal, I'm only too willing to lend a helping hand. No thanks, I'm trying to cut back on sweets. Just in time. So Maria's party this weekend. You going? On what day is it? It's Friday. Friday, huh? Yeah, why? Do you have plans? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> what is it? I just realized that I forgot my textbook. I'd better go get it. All right, I'll just meet you in class. Hi, Mandy. All right. Darren. Darren. Hey, Stephanie. Are you a big fan of hide and seek or something? Um, look, I don't have very much time. I have to make this quick. Uh, come stand against the wall so I can talk to you. You know we can talk to each other face to face. Well, you did ask nicely. All right, now what? I was just wondering if I could ask you a quick question. Okay. I wasn't sure if what I did earlier today was too forward. Yes, it was very forward. 
I'm not sure what to think of you now. Really? No, I'm just kidding. I actually thought it was quite sweet of you. Granted, I've never been asked out by a houseplant before. So we're still on for Friday then? Yes, we are. And I'll pick you up at six, just like you wanted. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. These cookies are delicious. And this cocoa, it's the best I've had in a long time. Hey Luke, how's it going? Cut that crap. Look, I'm tired of your games. What do you mean? I'm gonna make it real simple for you. Tomorrow afternoon, you and me, we're gonna fight. A fight? That's right. Between me and you. Now you're getting it. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Look, I'm tired of your free willed ways. Tomorrow afternoon, you and me are gonna fight, and you're finally gonna learn how things are run around here. Come on, guys. See about that. Did you hear? Hear what? About Luke and the new kid. They're gonna fight this afternoon. What? Yeah, the whole school's talking about it. Are you gonna be there? You know it. Okay, great. I'm gonna go tell more people about it. I'll see you at the fight. Darren, what are you thinking? So all along we've been talking about the formula of force. You know, by F equals mass times acceleration, right? That looks familiar, doesn't it? Okay, good. So to apply this in real situations, we need to have some kind of unit of measurement. So when we're looking at Use a measurement for mass. Yes. When were you going to tell me? Tell you what? About your fight today with Luke? What are you talking about? I'm not fighting Luke today. The whole school's talking so about it. With the Is that why everyone's been acting so strange today? Look, I'm not fighting Luke. You may want me to, but it's not going to happen. What makes you so sure? Because I'm a pacifist. Really? Yeah. So keep this in mind. That's great and all, but it's not going to stop Luke from wanting to crack your skull open. Trust me, this fight is never going to happen. Bam! Face first, right in the locker. You got this, man. You got this. Hey, new kid, you ain't get your ass kicked. I don't wish to fight you, Luke. Isn't this exciting? We haven't had a fight since March. I don't care. Get up. Why must we fight, Luke? What is it about me that bothers you so much? I'm tired of all you nature-loving hippies coming into my school and trying to change everything. I'm not a hippie, and I'm not trying to change anything. I'm just here to live in peace. Well, I'm glad that dream's about ready to go up and fly. Luke, don't. Luke. Come on. Get it out. Wow. This guy can really move, can he? Are we done here? 
Yeah, we're done. I'm done taking it easy on you. Oh, ouch! Luke, are you okay? Quick, tell me if this hurts. Ow! Oh. Don't worry, Luke, I'll get you out of here. Okay. So, I guess we're done now? Awesome. That was so good. Awesome. Yeah, really good. Yeah. You Hi, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, just one sec. Okay. Wow, you look... Normal? Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I'd dress a little nicer for our date. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you. So what are we taking? What do you mean? What are you driving? Oh, <laughs> I don't own a car. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't own a car. Are you joking right now? No. So how did you get here? I walked. Walked? I live a mile outside of town. I know. It was a nice stroll. But I thought you said you were going to come and pick me up. All right, if that's what you want. <laughs> No! <laughs> You're not like the other guys, are you? No, I guess not. Well, I guess we're walking then. Why not? It's a beautiful day after all. Well, okay. But only because my car's low on gas. Trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> if I get a blister, I'm blaming you. And if that happens, I'll be the one who tends to your wounds. So, how are your feet? They're all right, actually. <laughs> See? I told you you weren't going to regret it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. You know, I never noticed how beautiful all the landmarks are around here until tonight. It's amazing what you notice when you decide to leave the comfort zone. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, here is your seasoned salad, and here is your burger and fries. Enjoy. Thank you. Are you really going to eat that? Yes. What? That's red meat. I'm aware. But how can you call yourself a pacifist and still eat red meat? Because meat is delicious. Mmm. Tastes grease. That's okay. I think I'll stick to my salad. Oh, come on. Don't you ever once in a while want a big piece of meat in your mouth? What? <laughs> You're an odd one, Darren. Yeah but I'm still able to get asked out by you. Why is that anyway? What? Why did you decide to ask me out? I asked because it seemed the first time we met, you didn't seem too enthused to see me. I, I don't know, I guess, I guess I was just looking to change things up a bit. Prove it. What? Prove it. Say goodbye to my burger. Why? You said you wanted to change things up, so here's your chance. Are you serious? Yes. This is silly. How is me taking a bite of your burger proving that I want to change things up? Do you know how many calories are in that thing? Okay, I get it. You're scary. It's okay Wait, to be what scared. What did you say? I said it's okay to be scared. I'm not scared. All right.
Okay. I believe you. Oh my god, I forgot how good these things taste like. See? You don't have to be afraid of change. So, uh, how's your hand feel? How do you think it feels? So they expelled you for two months, huh? Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It's gonna give me time to heal up. And when I get back, I'm gonna teach that punk a lesson. Hey, Craig, toss me another beer. Damn! Oh, don't worry, Luke. I'll get that for you. Thanks, Bruce. At least you're still helpful to me. Hey, no problem. Filthy hippie. What does he think he's doing in my school, anyway? Actually, he's not a hippie, if you remember. Was I talking to you? Shut up, Craig. I mean, where the hell did he even come from, anyway? We never get anybody new in this town. Just the same eight families breeding, one after another. I don't know. I mean, we need to find out more about this guy. Get some dirt on him, you know? Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? Oh, Craig. No way, I am not snooping into another person's past again. Oh, yes you are. No. I told you after the last one that I was never going to do it again. You're gonna do it, because I said to do it. Don't think that I won't spread your little secret all over this damn town and ruin what little bit of respect you still have left. As long as you're in my school, I own your ass. How long is it gonna take you to get the dirt on this guy? About three weeks. Good. When I get back, all hell's gonna break loose. So, how was the party this weekend? Oh, awful. Maria doesn't know how to throw a party for crap. You didn't miss anything. Why couldn't you come again? Oh, you know, family get together, that sort of thing. <laughs> so I was thinking, maybe we could throw a party at your house. You know, like when your parents are gone. Oh, wow. No, no I'd have to think. Hold that thought. Look at him. I mean, he just wins one fight and all of a sudden they're all over him. Well, you have to admit he did surprise all of us. I guess, I don't know, he's so weird. What if we gave him a chance? What? What if we gave him a chance? You know, talk to him. What, like ask him to be my lab partner or something? You know I was assigned to be his lab partner. Yeah, alright, whatever. Look, I'll just meet you in class. I'll see you there. Alright. Hi, Mandy. You know, eventually you're going to have to talk to me. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How's your day going? Fine. Yours? Great. So I was wondering if you'd like to come by my house sometime this week. I've got the supplies now for our project and I'd like you to be there. Yeah. How about tonight? Great. So I guess I'll see you tonight then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. You must be having a good day. What makes you say that? Because this is the first time that we've spoken at school in public. What's the next step?
um, attach the catapult's cup using either thumbtacks, nails, or glue. Okay. Can you hand me the glue, please? Sure. Thank you. All right. How's it looking? Pretty good. We should be done within a few hours. Sounds good. Yep. So, is Mandy partially deaf or something? What do you mean? Well, it just seems she's not able to hear me whenever I talk to her. Oh, I... Uh, she just... She has a hard time accepting new people. Hmm. Well, maybe with some luck, she'll end up like you one day. Like me? Yeah, willing to get to know someone before judging them. Thanks. No problem. Okay, what's next? Oh, what, what? The next step. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it says here, attach the catapult's arm to the base. Okay. We should probably give the glue some time to dry first. But... I need to stretch anyway. What do you want to do? What? Uh, do you want to do something while the glue dries? I've got some board games in the closet we could play. Oh, I don't want to play you. Play with you. I... I don't like board games. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Almost done. Darren, can I ask you something? Of course. Well, um, I, I was wondering if you, oh my God, <sighs> I'm so sorry. I just. It's okay, it's, it's just a shirt. I have plenty. Oh, aren't you gonna step out for a moment? Was I supposed to? I guess not, as long as you're comfortable with seeing me half naked. <laughs> I think I can handle it. <laughs> what's that? What's what? The scar in your stomach. What's that from? It's nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I think the glue's dry enough. Let's continue working. Darren, did something bad happen to you? What do you mean? I mean, if you need to tell me something... There's nothing to tell, Stephanie. It's fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because if you need to tell me something... Look! Can we just drop it? I'm sorry. I just... I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay. Okay. So, what's the next step? Uh, attach the catapult's arm to the base. So he just, like, snapped on you? Uh, not necessarily. He just became really defensive all of a sudden. I 
I've never seen him like that before. Sounds like you guys have been spending a lot of time together lately. Oh, well, the due date is coming up, so of course we spent a lot of time together. Well, that makes sense. So, have you given any more time to thinking about me throwing a party at your house? Oh, the party. I'm not. There you are, Stephanie. I'd like to talk to you if that's all right. You don't mind, do you, Mandy? I'll talk to you later. Thanks for understanding. Listen, Stephanie, I... But what I wanna... was with you last night? We were having a good time, and then all of a sudden you snap at me? I know. For no reason! I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, Darren, just... what is with the scar? It's okay, you can tell me. I don't know if I should. Darren, you can trust me. Didn't you once tell me the opinions of others didn't matter? Yes, I did. How is this any different? You don't understand, it's more complicated than that. I- Darren Copper! My office, now! Could I perhaps- I, I said no! I just don't believe you, Darren. I come back from a two-week absence to find out you've been in a fight. It wasn't my fault. I don't want to hear it. The Lord has already given you a second chance to redeem yourself. Are you deliberately trying his patience? I didn't start the fight. Do you want to end up like Luke, Mr. Copper? Do you know why he was expelled without being given the opportunity to explain his side of the story? No. Luke is known around here as a lost soul. Now, granted, he didn't exactly have a fair life to live to begin with. But he was given more than enough chances at redemption. If he cannot see the error of his ways by now, there's no hope for him. So why did you start a fight with him? I wasn't picking a fight with him. This would say otherwise. That was the old me. Doesn't appear that way. Who is it? Principal Molman, I think I can help explain. So you see, Principal Molman, Luke started the whole thing. Darren was only defending himself. In fact, he never laid a hand on Luke. I see. Well, perhaps I was wrong about you, Darren. Maybe you're really not the person you used to be. Thank you. I will make sure this incident does not go on your permanent record. Now, why don't you two go ahead and head off to class? There's really nothing more for us to discuss here. Thank you, Principal Molman. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Oh, and Darren. Yes? It's a good, loyal friend you have there. Be sure not to lose her. I don't plan to. What do you got for me? I don't think we should be doing this. <laughs> well, what else is new? What do you got? I just don't think we should go to the... Shut up already. You sure it was him that did this? Done. He looks great. Yeah, thanks. I couldn't have done without you. So I guess we're all ready to show this baby off tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. I guess that means we won't be science partners anymore. Hmm. I guess not. And I uh, guess that means we'll be spending a lot less time together. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you can still come over as much as you want. Really? Yeah. I think you're a really great person. Why wouldn't I still want to hang out with you? You're sweet. <laughs> Thanks. And hot. What was that? Nothing, nothing at all. Hey, I just thought of something. What? What if we made this project a little bit more entertaining? To show that an object at rest will stay at rest until an unbalanced force moves it, Darren and I have built a catapult. That's right. According to Newton's first law in the scientific fields of catapults, every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that motion unless an external force is applied to it. Today, we will be using a grape as the object. Darren will put the grape in the catapult cup until it's ready to be launched, causing the grape to move. Now we'll explain how this is possible. 
Well, the relationship between an object's mass and its acceleration is equal to applied force. Acceleration and applied force are both vectors. In this law, the direction of the force vector is the same as the direction of the acceleration vector. The catapult can output a given amount of force depending on how far the cup is cranked back. The mass depends on the load that you put in the cup. Knowing these two, you can figure out how much force on a given mass will generate any given acceleration. A equals m over F. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now, for the fun part, let's test the experiment. Ready, Darren? Ready. All right, here we go. Goes to show that hard work pays off. You know what this means? What? My GPA will be higher than it's ever been. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. For what? Well, you're the first person who actually taught me to put some pride into my work. And normally I'm the one doing all of it. Well, 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 look who it is. Oh, hey, Luke. You were saying? Uh, no, no, don't turn away from me. We got business to discuss. Not to be rude, but I'm in the middle of a conversation right now. Please continue. As I was saying, usually... Hey! It's okay, Stephanie. It's only paper. Look, Luke, what do you want? Payback. <laughs> We've been through this. I'm not going to fight you. Hmm. Not gonna fight me, huh? Yeah, that's funny, because a couple of years ago, it seems like that would have been right up your alley, wouldn't it? See you around, killer. He made me do it. Hey, let's go. Darren, what is he talking about? Darren. 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 What? I said, what is he talking about? Oh, um, it's... I have to go to the bathroom. Well, Darren, wait. Okay. Calm down. He doesn't know. How can he know? He's just trying to get in your head, that's all. talking to him. I thought you guys gave your presentation already. Oh, Mandy. I... I was just making sure I got all my stuff out of his house, that's all. Stuff? From his house? How many times have you been over there? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Enough is enough. There you go. Hey! Come on, what'd you do that for? We were just starting to have some fun. What's wrong with you? Excuse me? You heard me. All you do is cause problems for everyone you meet. What's your deal? Oh, it's me that has the problem, is it? You know, I might be an asshole, but at least I'm not afraid to admit who I really am. You don't know me. That's where you're wrong. Gather around, everybody. It's story time. What I have here tells the truth about who that punk really is. According to this Detroit newspaper article two years ago, a public school had a student even worse than I am. Now, I don't regret all the pain I've caused you, and I'll be the first one to admit that I am not a good guy. But at least I have never tried to kill any of you. Yeah, this says it all. This classmate tried to kill a fellow student in cold blood. Who is a student, you might ask? 
none other than our very own Darren Copper. <gasps> Darren, is this true? Darren. Of course it's true. It was all on the internet, you dumb woman. That's your proof. Some words on the internet. Don't you talk back to me. You know what? Maybe it's time that someone did. Darren's right. All you do is cause pain for everyone. You know what, Luke? You're pathetic. What? You heard me. Pathetic. You're 19 years old, still in high school living with your alcoholic parents who can't even keep a job at the bar they go to. Face it, Luke. You're hopeless. You little bitch. I'm gonna smack the glitter right off of you. Oh, oh damn! Oh. Darren? No, Darren, wait! This is why you've been ignoring me. You're dating the new kid. All right, yes, you've caught me. I have been spending time with Darren. But now I've gotta make sure that he's okay. You know this means we can't be friends anymore. What? If you're going to date the new kid, then we can't be friends. But Mandy, we've been friends since we were kids. I've been by your side through everything. Heck, you're my idol. And now I've met someone who makes me happy, so you're gonna throw away our friendship just like that? That's right. Fine, we're no longer friends, but you know what, Mandy? What, hippie lover? Maybe if you weren't such a bitch all the time, people would like you. People like me? Oh yeah, keep convincing yourself. Face it, Mandy, the only reason you were ever popular was because I was right there to help you spread that lie. Darren, are you there? Darren, I, I need to talk to you. It's okay. It's only me. What are you doing here? I thought you might like your catapult back. That's sweet. I guess we both know the real reason why I came here, don't we? Yeah. I, I guess so. Karen, I need you to be honest with me. Was anything that Luke said today true? Some parts. Which parts? The part about me nearly killing someone. Y'all know the plan? I don't think we should be doing this. Too bad, Bruce. I want you to get over We We could get into serious trouble for this. Look, I'm tired of your crap. You're gonna do it whether you like it or not. Got it? All right, fine. I'll do it. All right, you two, try and find a way in. I'm gonna head towards the back. What do you mean? Are you telling me that you tried to kill someone? No, of, of course not. It's... it's more complicated than that. What do you mean? Two years ago, I was not the same person that you know today. At my old school, I was known as the school bully. Except, I was far worse than anything Luke could ever be. The doctors declared I had severe anger management problems. I would lash out at everyone for the stupidest little things and 
things got worse as the years went by, and I began getting into fistfights almost every day at school. There was even one time where I ended up fighting a small gang on my way home. I won, but they ended up leaving me a permanent reminder of that day. Is that when you nearly killed someone? I'm afraid not. When I got back from the hospital, my anger issues were at their boiling point. When I returned to school, a kid I'd never met before accidentally bumped into me in the hallway. I don't really remember what happened after that. All I remember is being pulled off this bloody kid who wasn't moving. <clears throat> After that, the school and judges finally had enough of me. I was sent to a juvenile hall for the next year and a half. But you're so sweet and kind. How can you change so quickly? Well, it turned out Juvie was exactly what I needed. During my time there, I had time to really think about where my life was going. I, I didn't want to end up living the rest of my life behind bars. What did you do? I requested an anger management coach. During the lessons, I was lucky enough to come across meditation. It seemed to be the one thing that truly helps with my temper. But through all that, I knew I wouldn't be able to move on until I met the kid once again. What happened? It was towards the end of my sentence, and I convinced a judge to set up a meeting with the kid. I could tell from the moment I saw him that I had done more damage to him than anyone could imagine. But through time and patience, I had the honor of hearing him say, I forgive you. I forgive you. It's beautiful. God, what was his name? Alex, his name is Alex. Thank you. For what? For finally letting me get that off my chest. I... I finally feel at peace. <sighs> what the? Darian, are you okay? Or, well, let me go! I could use a hand here. Guys, let her go. Guys, come over and hold him down. Darren! Did you really think you'd get away from me that easy? Luke, listen, it was a mistake. I'm sorry, I... Uh... Shut up. Nobody makes a fool out of me and gets away with it. All I want to hear is you begging for me to stop. Luke, listen to him! Stay out of this! But if you would just listen, then I you- I said shut up! Ah! Luke! <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Stop, he's had enough. No, it's Darren, you don't have to do this anymore. This isn't you. Darren, stop. Think about Alex. Karen? We agreed we weren't going to take it this far. Well, things change. Do you know what kind of trouble we can get into? We gotta go. We gotta go right now. Fine, go get Bruce and let's go. I can't believe you, Luke. Bruce, come on. Darren? Darren, can you hear me? Stephanie. Yes, Darren, I'm here. Before something happens, I want you to know. No, what? Tell me. I'm glad to have been your science partner. Me too, Darren. Me too. I've missed you. Well, I missed you too. So, what's been going on since... Up. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I've been waiting a long time to do that. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, oh, right. So, what's been going on since I've been gone? Oh, didn't you hear? Luke's in jail. Really? How did that happen? Uh, one of the guys confessed the following day what had happened that night. Who? Craig. Really? Yeah, I guess that was his final straw with Luke. Hmm. I'll have to remember to thank him when I get back to school. But until then, I want to get to know the real you. Uh, it's fine by me. But first, I think there's something that we both might enjoy. What's that?
Looks like we'll be seeing more of each other then, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Shall we? God, you're kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good. Well, great. Looks like we'll be getting to see more of each other then, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, well, great. Looks like we'll be seeing more of each other then. <laughs> I don't know why it's happening. Hi, I'm Darren. Stephanie. Nice to meet you. You're in my... I'm sorry, I'm giggling. I'm so sorry. And you're... you're come off. <laughs> oh, I'm the one with the problem. You know, I might be an asshole. Yeah, I'm sorry. You trust me. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> I'm sorry. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Everyone hates me in this school! Get off of me! Darren! 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 What the hell? Three, two, one. Can you put that down? Do <laughs> <laughs> it right in your face. <laughs> if I get a blister, I'm blaming you. And if that happens, I'll cut off your foot and eat it for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't worry, Luke. I'll get you out of here. Oh my god. I did it again. I'm going home. All right. Here we go. <laughs> why are you testing his patience? Granted, now why were you picking a fight with him? Damn denture keeps slipping. Hold on a second. Luke says differently. Oh, hold on. I need to put my teeth in, don't I? Don't you ever once in a while want a big piece of meat in your mouth? Well, there you go. Well, time for Patty McPhil and the go. <laughs> and she only told me, so if you, if anyone asks, don't tell them I told you. <laughs> so, Stephanie, did you, what did you think about Chelsea's birthday party? <laughs> In this law, the direction of the force vector is the same as the direction of the, uh, of the, <laughs> damn it. All right, knock it off. Now turn your pages to page to read that. Yeah. Hug me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to kiss you anymore. All right. That was terrible. <laughs> 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 you don't have a cell phone. Shit. <laughs> you motherfucker! No. Things change. What the? Why did those things change? I can't believe. Why do I keep doing that? We are in the middle of choosing partners for our Newton's third, third law. Jeez. One of them. <laughs> so sweet. Did I just screw it up again? I got a memory like a two week old turd, so. Today we will be using a grape as the object. <laughs> what the fuck? 